Did you ever stop to wonder if Taylor Swift, the global pop sensation, might be leading a secret cult? Or better yet, could she be a clone? It's an outlandish theory to be sure, but one that has captivated the imaginations of fans and conspiracy theorists alike. This theory, as wild as it might sound, is not without its roots. It all began when ardent Swifties started noticing mysterious symbols and cryptic messages hidden within her songs and music videos. The whispers grew louder when these symbols started popping up on her social media platforms as well, leading some to believe that there was more to Taylor Swift than met the eye. These clues, they argued, were not random. They were deliberate, pointing towards a secret cult led by Swift herself, or even more bizarrely, suggesting that the pop star we all know and love might just be a clone. So, the question remains, is Taylor Swift just a pop star, or is there more to the story? Diving deeper into the rabbit hole, let's explore the theory of Taylor Swift leading a secret cult. Yes, you heard that right, a cult. It's a theory that has been floating around for a while now, and it all begins with Swift's music. Supporters of this theory point to supposed secret messages hidden in her lyrics, which are seen as cryptic instructions or hints to her followers. Take, for instance, the song, Look What You Made Me Do. Some fans interpret the line, I don't trust nobody and nobody trusts me, as a reference to a secret cult community where trust is a prized commodity. Then there's Swift's influence over her massive fan base. With millions of fans worldwide, Swift has an undeniable reach. Some theorists suggest that this influence is not just the result of her music and personality, but a deliberate strategy to control and manipulate. They argue that Swift's actions, from her social media posts to her public appearances, are all part of a calculated plan to maintain her sway over fans. And let's not forget the cult-like devotion of her fans. Swifties, as they are known, are incredibly loyal and dedicated. They analyze every lyric, every tweet, every Instagram post for hidden messages or clues. And while this may seem like typical fan behavior, to some it suggests a level of control and influence that goes beyond the norm. However, it's important to acknowledge the skepticism around this theory. Much of it is based on interpretation and speculation. And as fascinating as it might be to imagine Swift as the leader of a secret cult, there isn't any concrete evidence to support it. Critics argue that the theory is more reflective of our society's fascination with celebrity culture and our tendency to read more into things than what is actually there. While the idea of Taylor Swift leading a secret cult is certainly intriguing, it is important to remember that this is just a theory. So as we continue to enjoy her music, let's also stay open-minded and critical, always remembering to separate fact from fiction. Now, let's take a turn into the truly bizarre. Could Taylor Swift be a clone? This question might sound odd, but it's a theory that's been circulating for a while now. One of the main arguments for this claim lies in the uncanny resemblance between Swift and a woman named Zena Levy. Lavi was a high priestess of the Church of Satan in the late 70s and early 80s, and some believe that Swift is a clone of her, created for, well, reasons that remain as mysterious as the theory itself. The origins of this theory are shrouded in the murky depths of the internet, where conspiracies often breed. The resemblance between Lavi and Swift is indeed striking, with similar facial features that have led some to speculate about possible cloning. But it's worth noting that resemblance is not proof, and this theory is largely based on coincidences. This theory also ties into the broader suspicion about the music industry's alleged involvement in cloning celebrities. Some conspiracy theorists argue that the industry, in its quest for control and profit, clones successful artists to ensure a steady stream of hits. It's a narrative that fits neatly into the Swift clone theory. But once again, there's no concrete evidence to support it. In fact, the absence of concrete evidence is a common thread running through this theory. While it's easy to get swept up in the intrigue and mystery, it's important to remember that these are just theories, not proven facts. They're the product of speculation and coincidence, and they say more about our fascination with celebrity culture and the unknown than they do about reality. So, could Taylor Swift be a clone? It's an intriguing question and it certainly makes for a compelling story. But without concrete evidence, it remains just that, a story. 
while the clone theory is definitely a wild ride, it is crucial to approach it with a healthy dose of skepticism. After all, it's just a theory.